Hi, ladies. So I noticed that you were talking about having trouble with MakerBit, and I was able to figure it out. Um, the hardest thing that I had was coming up with a health problem to solve, and so I decided to look at mental health, and I created a pet. I actually found um, a pre-made pet um, on the internet and then um, opened it up and then made some changes to it. So um, this is just like Scratch, if you've ever used Scratch. Um, what it does is it shows you your micro bit um, and what it will be doing um, on the left hand side of the screen and then on the right hand screen it's like a big um, almost like a sketchbook page where you can add things um, to make your micro bit do different things so my micro bit right now um, can do a few different things if I push um, when it starts up um, it smiles at me and it's not lonely, the loneliness is zero. Um, when I push the A button, it shows me a heart. Um, and then that resets its loneliness to zero. If I push the A and the B button, um, then actually it looks like it's crying. That's one of the ones that my kids helped me make today. Um, I had fourth and fifth graders helping me. Um, you'd be amazed what they know. And then if I push just the B button, then it makes a mad face. Um, when I pick it up after it's been sitting for a while, um, it makes a smiley face. Uh, when I'm laying it down on the table, it just makes like a meh face, like, like a whatever. Um, and then when... I turn it upside down, it gets sad. When I drop it, the whole screen lights up. Um, and then if I shake it, my kids wanted me to make it wave. So it actually scrolls through this big image and it waves. Um, so all you have to do is you choose the input that you wanna do. So if I want it to do something, when I push a button, I just drag and drop this over. And then from the drop down menu, I can pick what button. And so when I push the A button, now I have to decide what I want it to do. I've mostly been playing with the lights. I'm a really visual person, but there's all kinds of things that you can do. Um, and you can either design your own image or you can choose from an image already made. So now if I push the A button on my micro bit over here on the left-hand side, it'll show me that signal. If you want to throw something out, if you don't want it anymore, you just drag and drop it back into the menu where you got them, and it actually turns into a trash can. Um, what I would recommend if you're not familiar with computer um, programming or coding is find, go online, and find um, an already pre-made project. Um, so I went on and I found um, different pets that people had made, that students had made. Um, and then I was able to find different um, pre-made codes as well and then change them to fit what I wanted my pet to be able to do. Um, and when you find it, all you have to do is click edit. And then it takes you into the make code. And you can start to edit them however you want and make them your own. If you need any more help, just send an email and I can make another screencast video for you um, and explain anything that you want on my screen.